Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at the cherry pies in the 3x3 six weeks into flower. Okay guys, so it's been a couple of weeks since we've seen these girls. Let's just get in there and see how they're looking. This grow series brought to you by Harvest Hero Enhanced Perlite Mix. Okay guys, so there they are. Now we flipped the lights on these, I believe it was seven weeks ago. It didn't actually start to budding for about a week and a half, so I'm calling it six weeks of flower, um, which is just a, a guideline to start looking to see when they're done. Now I'm thinking right now at this point, they still got at least a couple of weeks left. Uh, let's take a closer look here. We have in the back, we have the two that are grown in the Sunshine 4. And they're doing really well. Stacked up nice. Got some nice stacks going on there. And nice frosty buds too. So that's good. And this one over here, same thing. We got some really nice frosty buds. Uh, pretty decent stacking on these ones. All the way down there. So very nice now those two are the sunshine number four now here in the front we have the ones that are in the harvest hero enhanced perlite mix now over here we have the runt now this one started out the smallest uh, kind of took off beat everybody and now I still call it the runt even though it's not uh, but this one here we can see some really nice trichome production there as well and some decent stacking too so very good this one actually uh, the buds on this one are the most dense so far uh, compared to these ones back here but let's take a look at the other one here the other cherry pie these are cherry pies from Sunwest Genetics uh, feel free to check them out I'll leave a link in the description uh, now check this one out this one here the phenotype or whatever it's just crazy uh, let's look at these buds look at these buds here now these are really loose uh, very larfy covered in trichomes and they smell great but uh, as far as weight production this one is going to have none this is there's nothing that can happen in the next two weeks that's going to cause that to uh, to gain much weight. Uh, once that dries out, you can see see how loose that is. Once that dries out, even though calyxes look really big right now, but once it dries out, there's not going to be much left. But I will tell you that is uh, that's a nice nice sticky uh, resinous buds anyway. So. Overall, everything's doing quite well. I do wish that I could have got my Mars Hydro FCE 3000 up a little bit higher, but I'm I'm right to the max here. Once this is oscillating, this fan, it's I have no more wiggle room here. So uh, I would like to have it a couple more inches above here because this between this and the light is only like maybe six maybe seven inches or something like that eight inches at the most now I did move the bars on the FCE 3000 it started out here and I moved them over to this side so that we had more power because it has a little farther to go these ones are lower so we put the most power here so that these would get a really nice amount of light and uh, kind of spaced it out here a little bit farther because the the light is directly on top of these tall plants so uh, that does help quite a bit and that's a great function of the FC E3000 yeah so now it's just basically a waiting game here uh, we got at least two weeks left is what I'm guessing uh, possibly three and uh, I know they really smell good they're all good they all smell great it almost makes you want to just kind of reach in and grab one and and, and eat it like they smell so fruity sweet I'm really curious to see how this is gonna turn out in the end I, I know it's not gonna it's not gonna get any more dense but um, yeah it's just so weird looking the calyxes are huge just like 
clusters of grapes instead of cannabis. Now these two in the front, uh, again, they are grown in the Harvest Hero Enhanced Perlite Mix. Now one thing that the Harvest Hero Enhanced Perlite Mix, uh, it has the diatomaceous earth in it, which, which adds silica to the soil that the plants can use. And what that does, it makes them stronger, makes their cell walls stronger, uh, helps to prevent stress in uh, if you have environmental changes. Also, when we see this perlite down here, and uh, this has diatomaceous earth incorporated right into it, when this top dries out, then if you have any bug issues, then the diatomaceous earth will kill the bugs. So that's another added benefit of the Harvest Hero Mix. Now, I did have thrips in here. Um, I changed the paper out yesterday, and I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any activity of thrips now. Let's check the back of this. I see just, I see one still there. So, there is still some in here, but way better than it was. Okay, guys, so that's it for the cherry pies. Uh, we're just going to keep waiting on these, and, uh, once they're done, it'll be really interesting to see the outcome of this grow. All right, guys, so uh, let's take a look over in my other tent and see what we have going on over there. Okay, what do we have here? Well, we have a couple of blackberry kush from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com. I just grew a couple out. Now, what I'm going to do with these is this one here, I am going to LST, uh, open her up get her ready she'll be going probably into the 8x8 soon with this one here i will be taking this for clones uh this will be a mother plant i had i had taken a bunch of clones from the cafe racer outside and i was going to use those for a project that i'm working on but i wanted to do something different a different strain i've already done the cafe racer a few times and i still have seeds so if i want to grow them down the road i still can uh but so I decided we're going to go with this Blackberry Kush. Uh, I need a bunch of clones from her. So I am going to LST her down a little bit. See if I can get some of these side branches to come up and uh, give me some more clones. So that's what we'll be doing with this one. So what I'm going to do right now, uh, I'm just going to very quickly put you guys on the tripod. And uh, we're going to LST this one down on video and see how she looks after some training. Okay, so uh, these are probably about a month old. I uh, don't totally recall when I popped the seeds on these, but I think they're about a month old right now. Uh, okay, so we're going to space this all out. Now, I did bend it over once. We can see the knuckle here where I super cropped her. Uh, I think it was a week ago or so. Uh, she's doing really well since then. Everything's kind of come out. But now I want to pull her down a bit more. So I'm going to pull these ones here. Let's see here. We're going to pull this one maybe back here. Let's just get a layout here. And maybe this one here. Pull this top down a bit more. Yeah, okay. So we're going to get started here. I got some... Uh, Some white uh, pipe cleaners and a pair of snips that I'm going to use to poke holes in the bags. Okay, so we'll start out right here. Just going to pop a hole in the bag, grab a pipe cleaner, tie it off. Easy peasy. And then we're going to come around this stem here. I'm going to come out fairly close to the end. You can see in here, I'm going to go fairly close to the end. Give that just a little bend. Now, when they're uh, kind of weaker stems, you don't have to put a twist or anything in there. Just give them a bend, and they'll usually stay down. And uh, chances are, later on, we're going to be moving where that is anyway. Probably further out. So, that's fine for there. Now, let's bring this one over right beside her. So we'll stick another hole here. Okay, now we're going to 
come in here. We're going to make sure we don't hurt any of the, the new little nodes, bud sites there. There we go. Now we want to keep it pretty close to the same height as that one right beside her. So we're going to do that. Just give it a bend there. That'll hold her down. Okay. Now let's come over on this side. Okay. Same thing with this one. We're going to put this one right beside her as well. I'm assuming some of these leaves are getting getting into the way, but hopefully you can see enough. Now, I took off some leaves off of this a few days back because she was completely filled in, but the leaves were huge, like twice the size of my hand, like very, very huge leaves. I have one actually being pressed in a book right now because they're so big. I was so impressed with them. Um, so we're just going to keep continuing along. Now you can use safety pins or clips or something if you don't want to put holes in your bags. Anything that you want to do that you find easy. Uh, yeah, you can, you can do anything like that. Okay. So there we go. Let's go over to the other side again. Work on this. Now we got this really big one here. And I think we'll bring that right down here. Now this one's a little stiffer, so I really don't want to break it off. Uh, so I'm just gonna, not so much super crop it, but just, just kind of warm it up a little bit by twisting it and uh, rolling it between my fingers in a, in a certain spot down here. If you can see that. Just I'm just I'm not gonna bend it. I just if it does if it does strain the branch too much, hopefully it will bend there instead of snapping it off. But I think it's gonna be fine, but I just like to loosen it up a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna bring that right down here. sure we don't hurt any of those other little buds we're gonna come up here uh, some people like to tie it to the branch first um, and then to the pot I like to do the pot first because when I'm tightening this up here my hand, my finger is actually touching this branch and I can kind of feel how much strain is going into that. So I feel like I have a little more control on how far to pull it uh, without breaking it. So it, I just find it gives me just a little bit more control. All right, so we're gonna come here. And pull this one here. Now before I tie that, because it's going to make it a little bit harder, we can see this leaf down here right into the dirt. We're going to snip that off, and we're going to snip that little one off too. Okay, and then we'll... And then we'll tie this one down here. I really enjoy doing LST or low stress training. Um, I just find it fun to to put the plant where I want it. Um, I don't know. It's a it's it's almost probably like uh, pruning a uh, a bonsai or something. Like you take something where it's growing and you don't want it there, so you move it to where you want it, and it just and then it's interesting to watch it grow out to what you 
essentially had in your mind and it's working so uh, that's pretty cool okay so we're getting a little crowded here first off I think I'm going to take this main top here I'm gonna move this move this pipe cleaner up here and see if we can bend that down a little bit she's She's quite a thick branch, and I don't think she's going to want to move as much as I want her to, but uh, we'll see if we can bring her down just a little bit more. Nice and slow. No need to rush it. Okay. It's not quite as far down as I want, but I can come back in later on or tomorrow and bring it down just a little bit more if I want to. Okay, so we'll tie this one here. This one's going to be coming over like this. A little pinch. That should hold it. Okay. Now let's check out the other side here. Okay, so uh, let's do a little rearranging here. This one here, I want closer. I want to close this gap in a bit. So we'll take this off and we'll bring it over here. Okay, and then and then we'll take this one off of this and hook it to where the other one was. There, that gives us uh, moves that a bit closer. I'm going to remove this leaf here because once this turns up this leaf is just going to cover all this anyway so we'll get rid of it right now <clears throat> and then we'll bring this one down here okay so we still got this here so we're going to grab this one Okay, it's a little better. We'll come over on this side. Now we've got one coming out of the bottom here. And we have this one here. So yeah, we'll just kind of pull them over just a little bit each one. Not a lot. Pull this one down a bit. Okay, so now we just have this this top which is sticking way up here. We have this one here. Okay, I have this chopstick here. 
uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a hole. I'm going to poke a hole right down in here. Take my chopstick, push it through that hole a little bit. Now we're going to only put it out halfway because now the back here will hold, will give me something to push against that stick so I can tie right to the stick. Okay. Now this one I'm going to tie to the to the branch first. And then move the branch with my hand to where I want it. I want it right about there. Wrap it around that stick. And there we go. So that brings that down. We're going to use this same pipe cleaner that's on here. I'm just going to take that. Now that just snapped on us anyway here. So basically I'm just going to leave it like that. It did the work for me. Um, now some people would mend that up. It's not big enough to tape. And if it dies, I'm, I'm not too worried about if it dies. And we're in a pretty clean environment anyway, so I'm not too worried about any disease getting in there or infection. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. Now I'm gonna take this leaf off here because it's gonna cover everything. Pop that one off. See if there's any more in here. Um, there's nothing really in the dirt. I think I will take this one anyway, though, and this one. Because they just... They looked at me funny. And this one here is covering these bud sites down here. So we'll get rid of those. Clean that up a little bit. And then also, when this grows back up, and leans back up like like so this branch this leaf here is going to cover this stuff down here so we get we're going to take that right off now the same over here take that off uh, could even come in here take this one off this one take this one off And that and that's it that's all we're gonna do so there we go we have uh, let's take a closer look here so there we go we get it all spread out nice fills the entire pot now we have all this little stuff we have all this little stuff here these here, all these little ones, these side ones, these side ones up here, these ones. Now, these are all going to grow up. They're at the same height as everything else. So, now they have the ability to grow up and be tops as well. So, uh, there we go. So, that's it for the Blackberry Kush LST training. And, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to do something similar to that later on today um, I'm gonna be using most of this plant for clones anyway so probably won't be as as picky as this one but uh, yeah that's pretty cool I love doing that so we've taken a look at the cherry pies and uh, just a waiting game on them uh, getting started on that blackberry kush and uh, I think you're gonna like what I'm doing with the clones so uh, if you don't want to miss that, be sure to hit the subscribe button 
and and the bell notification button if you can. YouTube is uh, doing their thing again with cannabis channel, so uh, if you don't subscribe, chances are you're probably not going to see this when it comes out. Uh, next week we'll be doing uh, we'll take another look here at the cherry pies. We'll be taking a look outdoors and see how they're doing. I've already flipped a flower about uh, four days ago. Uh, put them in the darkness. Um, yeah, and we'll keep uh, working on that blackberry cushions and uh, start that project. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.